Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, this one is a bit awkward to do on this kind of an angle, which is bearing my hands. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. But I will link a video on at the end. I had three attempts on video. This is the best. So you can imagine what the other two turned out like. But I will leave a video at the end showing you how to do it. Right? Small little packet trick. You're going to need the 10, the jack, the queen, the king, and the ace of spades. Or whichever suit you want, or the ace, two, three, four, and five. Just five cards which will be very easy for your spectator to remember. That's all you need. Right? And all different. And they can tell the difference. So you don't have four of a kind. Have them. You can either go through your packet and pull them out one by one by one by one. Or you can have them set on the top of the deck. It's easy. Say you're going to show a small little packet trick and just count off without reversing the order your five cards. Because when you turn it over, you want the aces the first card. So that's your setup. Ten on the top, ace on the bottom, and you're in order in between. You'll pull off the ace and go got the ace of spades. You'll pull the king off, but you'll keep a break. I've got the king of spades. I've got the Queen of Spades, I've got the Jack of Spades, and I've got the Ten of Spades. You'll close them up, and you're going to have to risk kill, because you're taking everything above the break, leaving the Ace on the bottom. So you risk kill your hand, and put the packet down facing up, and turn these over. Now, you're going to show you've got five cards, where you've only got four. Yeah, this thing, this is called the Endless Count, not the Endless Count, the Endless Change. Endless change. And it's a bit like the Elmsley count. Hold it like you'd have for an Elmsley count, but best idea is come from the corner, the bottom corner. Give me, gives you more chance of getting away with it. You peel the top card off, you'll come back, you'll drop the block of two, pushing the block of two off, and take that bottom card back underneath there, as you've shown two cards. You'll catch a break between these two cards. So when you come back, you can put the top card down and you can go just inside that break and pull that card out as you've shown three cards. Then you take the top card as four and the last card as five. Right. right. Don't worry, you will see that again because you do that all the time through this hole. So do it nice and slow every time you get to it. Once you get to that part, Break the packet in half, so you've got two cards on the top, because you're going to do one of them. Turn the bottom two cards facing up. So, you, so basically, I'm using a royal flush, and as you pick your hand up, you're leaving them two there, and they're going to shink like that, and then they will just go from there back down onto the top. Right? So you've got your break. So basically, I'm using a, a royal flush in spades, straight back down on the top. Then, but if I do a little magic move, and all you're going to do is turn your hand, don't turn the cards, just turn your hand so they stay the same way, and pull them out the back of your hand. So if I just do that, and I'll do the endless change again, top card off, the block over, catch your break, them two down, that one down, them two out, there's three, there's four and five. The ten of spades turns over. And if I do it again and do the exact same move, just turn your hand and push it out. Be careful that you don't split because you don't want them seeing any of them. Pull it out and go. If I just do that, the ten of spades disappears again. Top card. I find it easier if you grip them at the top. The top two corners. That way it makes it easier to spread, split the cards and keep them together at the top so they don't flash because the last thing you want is as you get your your break something like that happens so when you come in they get a little flash of that card as that's going down and they can see you're cheating we get the jack of spades put them on the top now you will turn the packet do the like the same move but turn your hand over as well so that the packet turns over and so if i just do that again we we'll find that the jack's gone and turn into the queen again the top card the block 
a break, drop that card, take that one back, we get the Queen of Spades. And if I do that move again, this time keep them the same way, so you just turn your hand. There's only the once you turn the packet, all the others are straight, straight around. The Queen turns into the King. Same move again, catch a break, pull it down, pull them two out. But this time put them down so that the, they're in jogged, King sticking out. Now make sure it's square with the Queen because this is how you're going to sort your packet out. Stop it being dirty. You want to turn them two cards as one so they think it's just the King over. Now all your pack is facing the right way again, which is great. Yeah, then you'll say about the Ace not wanting to be mm, like that, doesn't want to do that. So even if you turn your hand and do the same one again, the flat one where it doesn't turn the packet over, and do the same move again, the endless count, uh, endless change, dink, dink, and dink to show five cards. Loads of different ways you can finish. Loads of different ways. The way I've done it in the performance was saying, well, he likes to do something a bit different. Take a look and see if you can see an ace of spades in here. And spread the packet. And somewhere, somewhere near the middle, you're just going to pull that bottom card out underneath the packet. And then square it up into the packet. So you're now just going to put that, as you know, upside down in the middle of that packet. You know, a little magic one of these or whatever. Now just pull the cards off one at a time. So it looks like you're still doing the same move. I've only got four cards, which are the ten, the jack, the queen, and the king. And you can spread through the packet. One card facing down, and it is the ace. As I say, other ways you can finish it. You can always have a duplicate ace and... Have it inside your card box. Dispose of this card however you want. Little palm. There's the packet. Drop the card into your pocket. Anything you want. Look at this. Oh, open the box. There's an ace in it. If you don't want to use a duplicate ace or you can't use a duplicate ace, it's a bit tricky. A bit tricky. But you have your box on the table like that. And you do the same thing. You just call that card out off the top of the packet. Have the box up there somewhere. And as you're putting the packet down, you'll pick that box up. As you turn it over, you'll square the card underneath. Look at that, we've got a black eight on the back of the box. Open the box up, and then you'll just pull the card from the bottom to show that the piece was in there. And that's if you don't want to use two. Or you can have the ace hiding anywhere, uh, the duplicate ace, sorry, hiding anywhere you want to. Yeah. Any way you want to, and all you've got to do is get rid of the ace which you've left on the bottom of that packet. And there we go. Now, that was the interesting bit showing you how it was done. Yeah, now here's my attempt at how to do it. Mm. Don't laugh too hard. Hard, Matt. Would you like to see a little fun trick? No? Well, tough. I'm going to show you anyway. Using five cards. Ace of spades, king of spades, queen of spades, jack of spades, and the ten of spades. Right? Ace of spades, the king of spades, the queen of spades, the jack of spades, and the ten of spades. Which, as you are aware, is called the royal flush in spades. But, if we just take them and pass them through my hand like that, we shall find something strange happens. Yes, we will. We'll find that one of them, mainly the Ten of Spades, decides to turn facing up. And if I pass them through my hand again, just like what I did there, again, something strange happens. We find the Ten disappears to be replaced by the Jack. And again, if I take them and pass them through my hand, just like that, again, something strange. We find the Jack disappears and is replaced with My Little Lady. And again, if I pass them through my hand, just like that, we see my little lady has gone into hiding to be replaced by the king of spades. These spades is a different matter. I can pass them through my hand like that. 
But the ace of spades will not play ball and will not turn himself facing up. He won't. He likes doing things a little bit different. So wait, I will bring this packet in to show you now. I do want you to look for the ace of spades as I go through the packet. There's an ace of diamonds and an ace of hearts on top, by the way. And there's, there's the ace of clubs, which isn't the ace of spades, but it's the right colour. And again, we'll carry on going through just to confirm the fact that the ace of spades is nowhere in this packet. No, not until I pick these up and just give them a wave and a tap on it. And then we'll see that we only have the four cards, which happen to be the 10, the Jack, the Queen, and the King. Because the Ace has done something miraculous. Can you see the Ace of Spades? There's that Ace of Clubs again. There is the Ace of Diamonds, and there is the Ace of Hearts. There's a facing down card, which we didn't see before. And, well, I can't see the Ace of Spades in there. Hopefully, this facing down card will remedy, remedy that. And it does. Here's the Ace of Spades in the middle of the pack, doing something a little bit different. And there we go. A nice little fun packet trick just using, well, five cards. <laughs> I do hope you've enjoyed it.